I smell something. Do you? Yeah. Must be a polecat. Well, Mr. Newtown Marshal, I suppose you're here for the purpose of making Mesa Grande a decent place to live in, huh? That's a rough idea what I'm here for. Going to make a Sunday school picnic grounds out of the place, ain't you? Mightn't be a bad idea at that. Thanks for suggesting it. Go ahead and make your speech, mister, and get it over with. I ain't making no speeches, but I'm telling you something. From now on, this town ain't gonna be a healthy spot for them that don't watch their steps. Is that clear? Sandy, bring out a bottle of your best wine. This is the man who saved my life today. Here you are, the best in the house. I'm sorry to refuse, ma'am, but I'm not drinking. You didn't have that bad, John, when I saw you today. I didn't own it then. You're not gonna let that piece of tin keep us from being friends, are you? That's entirely up to you. Then come on and drink with me. I said I wasn't drinking. If Lily says you're drinking, you're drinking. <laughs> Mister, but so long as I'm drinking, I'd rather have something I like. Give him whatever he wants, Sandy. Give me a tumbler of straight whiskey. You must have a cast iron stomach. Here's how. Folks that get careless with guns ain't got no right carrying them. Wendy, put that in the jail safe. And the next time you or anybody else starts any gun play in this town, you'll find yourselves cooling off in jail. I figure you all know how I stand on things by now. If anybody's got any objections, they can take it up with me personally. I aim to be around for some time. Good night, ma'am. Good night. Say, look at Lily. She don't know whether to kiss the new marshal or kill him. I wish I had my choice. Put it away. 